Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Hurst and I did my educational diet on Burger Team Washington. Uh, he is a an, an truly inspiring person. Uh, he was an educator, a lead voice for the African American community, and even later an advisor to the president, presidents of the United States. Uh, growing up, Booker T. Washington did not have an easy life. He was born a slave in Washington, Virginia. He worked on the plantation called the Burgo Plantation with his mother, Jane. Uh, growing up, him and he never had a father. All he knew was that his father was a white man from another plantation that his mother met. And so he remained a slave until about the age of nine, and that's when the Civil War ended. Uh, throughout, even after slavery ended, he still worked as a houseboy for this white family. He also worked at a salt um, furnace as well. Through though he was like he had a hard hard start. All the trials that he went through really made him the person that he was and taught him the virtues and skills that he had and inspired his line of work to make a difference and really made him a humble man. Uh, he didn't let his past define who he was. He created his own future. He rose from slavery and became, an, and became educated at a college called Wayland Seminary and also worked his way through Hampton University Institute. And this um, institute was really inspirational to Booker T. Washington because it focused on industrial industrialization education. And that's what he based his uh, uh, education uh, university that he opened up in 1881 called Tuskegee and at the school Washington taught and tried to implement skills to the African Americans to help them become economically and self-reliant among their African American society and culture because a lot of African, Amer African Americans because they were slaves did not have education did not know how to live a better life and improve themselves because they were slaves for so long and never got taught. Um, not only at the school did he train skills that they needed to advance in life, but he also taught religion to, sh to give them hope and to inspire them and show them that hard work is beautiful and it's dignified and it's not something to be ashamed of. <clears throat> So, not only did he was a great educator, and he was also a really good spokesman. And what made him famous was his Atlanta address in 1895, and this was after the Jim Crow situation and lynching. And he just wanted to take a stand. And in this talk, he was he says he talks about how. We have come a far way, and the relationship with white people have grown better and made all the difference, but there's still so much work we need to be done, and things that are not, um, things aren't fair, and this talk caught attention of the public, of politicians, and it got very, very popular, and increased a lot of supporters for the African American community so he set up this fund and at this fund he gained tons and tons of money and with that money he was able to make his school a lot bigger um, he purchased a uh, hundred acres and he started off in a small church building and at the school like I said he taught life skills he taught education he improved he showed them how to survive and how to work and get a job and with this money he was able to open up thousands of others of little community schools that helped Afri the African American community. 
Also with this money, um, it caught attention of a lot of philosophers that really made the difference at the school and really made the school an actual great education and taught and became one of the top universities. So as you can see, Booker T. Washington made a huge contribution to education. He, he showed people that doesn't matter what race you are, education is important and life skills are important and it should be taught together. And without him, I don't think, I don't think we would have the, those types of educational programs today and I don't think that um, equality rights would be as far as they are now today. He made a huge difference in for equality in education. Um, he's inspired me as a future teacher to make sure to not just teach by the book but to teach them skills, help them for their future life and remember that everyone deserves an education and to try and reach out to those who are struggling. And yeah, that's Booker T. Washington, a really amazing man, and I'm super happy for the contributions that he's made to education. Hope you enjoyed my presentation.